assalamu alaikum my dear students i hope all of you are fine and doing well so topic here we are going to discuss it is the comparison of reactivity of alkali and alkaline earth metals so basically here we will talk about the group 1a and the group 2a metals in which the group 1a is called as alkali metals and the group 2a elements are called as alkaline earth metals and here we have their name which is denoted as 1a the first one we have lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francesium and then we have the group 2a which is a second group and called as alkaline earth metals they include beryllium magnesium we have calcium strontium barium and radium so these are the simple their names and their place in the priority table is the group 1a and they are the group 2a elements so here we will discuss about their chemical reactivity that which one is more reactive and which one is less reactive basically when we talk about the reactivity of the alkali and alkaline earth metals it always depends upon the number of electrons that are present in their outermost shell that whether they are more electropositive the more electropositive mean whether they can lose the electrons easily or they can not lose electrons easily all that is known as their electropositive character and that electropositive character is also named as their metallic character so the reactivity also depends upon it on the other hand whether the metals have high ionization energy or low ionization energy and to which substance they are going to react all these factors affect the ionization energy metallic character electropositive character and the number of electrons so according to all these conditions we can easily predict that whether the metal is reactive or non reactive and the most important thing that affects their reactivity it is the conditions prevailing on the substance that what are if their conditions are favorable for the reactions to take place then it will be happened in a smooth way without any hurdle but on the other hand if the conditions are not favorable for the reaction then the reaction will not take place and it may have to stop so let's have a look the reactivity of the alkali metals the group 1a metals like lithium sodium and potassium if i am going to draw their structure the first one is lithium it contains total 3 electrons the first shell contain 2 electrons and the second shell contain just one electron on the other hand here we have sodium it contains 2 electrons in the first shell 8 electrons in the second shell and the third one shell it contain just one electron then we have potassium it contains one electron two electrons in the first shell eight electrons in the second shell then in the third shell again it contain eight electrons and in the last one shell this is its fourth one shell or the valence shell contain one electron so when we move from top to bottom in the periodic table we can see that the factors that are going to increase it's their atomic size it increases then their shielding effect also increases when the shielding effect and the atomic size are going to be increased then the factor which is the number of electrons in inner shells there also increases and the distance between nucleus and the valence shell that distance also increases so all these factors are going to be increased when you move from top to bottom in the group as all these factors increases so the reactivity the one thing which is called as the reactivity of the alkali metals also increases down the group the simple reason is that their ionization energy decreases that decreases down the group 
their electropositivity or the electropositive character it also increases down the groove so an atom or any metal when it is going to lose electrons easily it's mean it is more electropositive as it is going to lose electrons easily its reactivity increases down the group so the alkali metals in which we have lithium and sodium sodium will be more electropositive or more reactive as compared to the lithium and the potassium is more electropositive than sodium and then lithium on the other hand the last one which is francesium it is having highest electropositive character and it is more reactive as compared to the all alkali metals that are present here after this we have reactivity of the alkaline earth metals in alkaline earth metals which is the group 2a we have magnesium calcium strontium and barium so the calcium and magnesium we just talk about here about this the magnesium is less electropositive as compared to the calcium and magnesium is also less reactive as compared to the calcium the reason is same because as we move from top to bottom the atomic size increases as atomic size increases now they can lose the electrons easily when the electrons lost by the electron atom easily it means it will be more electropositive and more reactive now when we talk about the reactivity of alkali and alkaline earth metals between the comparison of these two groups now when we move from left to right in the group the electropositive character decreases in turn their reactivity also decreases so the group 1a elements will be more reactive as compared to the group 2a which are alkaline earth metals they will be less reactive the reasons are same group 1a can lose electrons easily they lose electrons with more difficulty they have high ionization energy the group 1a elements have low ionization energy and the group 2a electrons have high ionization energy so that's why group 1a will be more reactive and the group 2a will be less reactive so this was all about today's lecture i hope you guys understand and if you have any queries you may ask me about that and the next topic that we will discuss it is the comparison of physical properties of alkali and alkaline earth metals for that time you guys keep learning and have a good day